All right, Mike Renner, for our second segment of the uh, Odds Couple Sports Betting Show for Tuesday, September 6th, we're taking a look at the two uh, college football games for Friday, primetime yeah. games. Those uh, Friday games are always very interesting. This is for week two, and the first one we're going to look at, Maryland and FIU, Maryland, Florida International. This is interesting. Maryland crushed Howard. How much do we take from that? Yeah, I don't I think we can take much. FIU got pounded by Indiana. That's not good, but... Uh, but still, you know, I'm seeing still, only 10, 10 and a half. 10 I'm... or 10 and a half. Well, it was supposed to be a bit of an up year for uh, Florida International, at least offensively. The big issue for them sure. was going to was on defense. Uh, I actually uh, I had a great week one in college football overall. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Props one, one of to my, you. One of my leans that that was Hell, wrong. he celebrated. Went to New York. <laughs> one of my leans that was wrong was the over in the in the Indiana FIU game. I thought okay. that, that one was going to go over. I thought FIU would, would score more, and I thought they would uh, give up more points. That's the profile of FIU. Yeah, has that was right like now. thirty four to ten or thirty four. Yeah, yeah, very seven. modest scoring game. Yeah. Right now we're, we have a plus ten and a half. Heritage and the Greek both have ten, which is interesting, and yeah. the total is fifty seven and a half. And uh, Maryland, you know, they, they, they're an interesting team. They've got they've got a lot of uh, they they had their passing game was awful last year, but this year they're implementing a new uh, up tempo attack. And again, how successful will it be? I don't think we can take much from from what they did against Howard, but I think there yeah, are signs that uh, you know, know maybe that you know. Because Pete, if you could name one person that plays on Howard or who coached him in the right, last three yeah. years, right now I'll give you five hundred dollars. So yeah, you can't take much from that fifty-two to thirteen win that they got. But they did convert fifty-eight percent of their third downs. They had five hundred nineteen total yards, no tone and they had 7.9 yards per carry on the ground. Are you making this stuff up, or did you I'm research not, this? I, I researched wow. it, bro. Nice I'm not job, kidding. Mike Brennan. And that's yeah. the truth. No, so I don't care if you're game. getting no stats against anybody. If it's a football game, that's still getting the job done. Yeah. So, And they only allowed two yards per carry mm -hmm. on the defensive side. Yeah. So, you know, maybe this – because I'm still wondering, what happened to that Maryland team, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day? You know, where did oh, they go? It's so really different now. Yeah. I know that. I know that. And, again, you did say that FIU was supposed to have an up, up year. But, wow, when you're getting your ass crushed at home, yeah. All right, and I know it's Indiana, but still, um, I don't know, Pete. I got this is a ten foot pole. I tread lightly on this. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what my lean is. This one, even though I got burned on the over uh, last week with FIU, I would lean over fifty seven and a half. Okay. Maryland last year, uh, their their or their early games all went way over, uh, and 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 I think that uh, that that Florida International's offense with one game under their belt will be able to put up something. Maryland has a good offensive line, yeah. and I think that Florida International's uh, uh, issues on defense will will show themselves here. You know what? And it could be because Pistol Pete also FIU now. All right, that quarterback Gallagher, he had three picks last week. Yeah. He threw three interceptions. They only had 331 total yards, okay, against Indiana. Indiana's not a great defensive team. So yeah. there may be some points coming from turnovers as well because this guy, I think he's liable to, to give up some pick sixes. They gave up 486 yards yeah. to Indiana. Yeah. So I think Maryland might really ground it out on the game, grind it out on the game, and yeah. also have some success on the defensive side possibly with turnovers. So oh, God, I know. It's, it's 57 at because I've, I've seen these games year in and year out there. Yeah. They're, 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 they're high scoring, relatively yeah. high scoring. Then they land on like 56. They I land know. on like 54. But you are like totals that. low, yeah, Shaq, yeah. so you've been through this grind before. I really have. God. All right. I guess I guess <laughs> I guess I will um Gosh, let me think about Pull it. Pull that you know, trigger. You know what I might do? Maybe later on this week. All right, you, you know, you we know what? still have one more day coming, but you know what? I'm not going to push God, you. I'm, I'm not going to so pressure you. I'm so on the fence about this. I'm you know so what? Then I'm going to talk you this. off that fence. Get the hell off there. You got All no right. business All being right. there. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm off the fence. I'm not going to give it friends right, right there, baby. I might give it later, but I am <laughs> definitely leaning over and uh, could easily see it landing on 56, though. Yeah. And then uh, getting annoyed. 57 yeah. and a half, a little bit higher. In light of how the Indiana game went, maybe I'll just hold off it. All right, Mike Brenner, what should we what should we tell these guys to do? Well, what do you mean tell them what to do? We're going to tell them how to help themselves. Go to, right. page. Bonus page. go to the bonus page. You've got to go to the bonus page. You go to the front page of sportsbookreview.com, and in the upper left-hand corner in a box, you'll see a bunch of links. In the middle link is the uh, the best bonuses uh, link, whatever it's called. You click on that one, and you will see a listing of all the bonuses that all the major books are offering right now. And these bonuses are pretty sweet, some of them. Well, they right are. Center. People think 30, we're trying 40, to sell 50, something. We're not 60. trying to sell anything. We're on the same team. All right, if you've got a sports book that's graded A+, plus A, all right, that means they pay. And then when you have that same sports book that's giving you great bonuses and it differentiates from college to pro football, you got to take advantage of it. This is a win-win situation. Plus, we can keep doing what we're doing. But I got news for you last week, Pete. I talked about a few of the bonuses that some mm -hmm. of these books, you know, were putting out, and these guys responded. You should have seen the traffic going to Bet365. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Going to Five Dimes, the traffic was amazing, all really? because of what we were telling them. And guess what? I like that. I sleep better when people listen to good advice. All right. For nice real. job, Mike Brenner. Football's I, here, baby. I'm not going to go official with over 57 and a half, but it is a strong lean. Oh, strong. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.